podcast. Today is going to be about Houdini again. Um, for the sake of yet again being a tiny bit faster. I do hope that today's model is going to be amazing. Um, it kind of depends on the day, I think. You know, sometimes, sometimes it is good, sometimes it is okay, sometimes it is whatever. Um, but I think it also is what it is. I, I don't know. I'm 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 often wasting quite a lot of time trying to perfect something, even though it's actually not quite possible. So that's definitely advice to just be a tiny bit faster, because in the end, um, I personally should not be the gatekeeper of what is good and what is bad. Of course, there should be some sort of a, a minimum quality of things that um, I'm also trying to have and trying to build so to speak but um at some degree it is just you know one trying to be perfect and or trying to make something perfect which is anyway never going to be perfect so the conclusion is don't try to be perfect and do not try to make things perfect um, I think that at first we're going to build some, some, some elements that we can then, uh, um, maybe, uh, put onto something and, uh, and then we will see, I guess. Um, uh, I would like to have some stairs to be honest. And I think we're actually also going to make that really, really quickly and really, um, really, uh, um yeah let's let's call it really um dirty you know really quickly and really dirty um that's probably fine that was the wrong word but this should be somewhat like this and then we're gonna copy and transform that and we are gonna um have maybe five or something and we're gonna translate them in 0 0.5 increments in uh, definitely not the set axis but definitely um in this and maybe it should actually also be that but apparently this is too much apparently this was too much okay maybe it's also gonna be like this a tiny bit more i would say that is fine that should probably be something like this and probably something like maybe it's actually gonna be there we go that's wonderful that is really wonderful so we're having stairs maybe we're gonna actually call them stairs this is gonna be a plate for uh, the sake of not having anything better and uh, maybe we are also gonna have um some some wall type of shit some wall type of shit that is gonna be um i would like to be to let this be a triangle because i just want to have one triangle so we're gonna pla blast yes we're gonna blast it and we're gonna take all of them and there we're having one thing uh so this is what we're having now um maybe 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 it does make sense to have a box that's probably like five big or something maybe it's just also three big definitely not too big but three 
I should definitely kind of change the, the key binding there. But it is fine for now. Um, we are gonna eta this. Um, and it would actually be interesting to see because height field scatter, there's also something like this. Pyro scatter from burst. I don't know what a height field scatter is. So let's see what this does. What is that? Mask or scatter point. What if I, what if I do this? Okay, nothing here. And then there is a scatter and a line. And let's quickly see what this is doing. We're having two points now. Coverage. One. Okay, now we're having four points. That's amazing. Random cone. Okay, there we go. There is something is happening. Uniform scale. Okay. I don't know what is happening there. Maybe. I think that I've actually... Oh, scatter points on geometry surface. Around constraint. This is actually quite cool since I think this is also... No, it's actually not inside of the geometry as well. Can I by density? Okay, anyway, does this matter whether I, yes, it actually does matter whether I um, subdivide it. And this is in uh, that way. Okay, cool. Does it also matter whether I'm having triangles there? Apparently, yes, it does. Anyway, we're going to use this uh, quadrilaterals, whatever this means. I don't really know, but it is fine. Um, so we're having that scattered and we're going to copy two points. We're going to copy that to points. There we go. Once again, really trying to see uh, geometry to copy. Oh, copy attributes this is not what i want to have copy two points there we go on one hand we're having the geometry to copy which in this case would be all of the above and the other one would be the target points um i am just thinking it would be nice i think i think we're gonna do it in this way which might make a difference. And I'm really willing to, to see if it does. Even though I would like to, of course, um, I, I, I think that there is some way to have certain constraints, whether um, something should be copied to this point or to that point or whatever. Um, and I mean, you can probably do something there. Guess from group, um, but but yeah. I don't really care that much now whether this is like just you know really 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 super duper cool or something uh, I just you know want to have something here what we are having now here is definitely nothing so um, we might we might indeed Okay, this is that. That is amazing. We're having this plate. We can definitely make them smaller as well as Oh, we're just keeping it like this and do something amazing with it. We could definitely also do that. You know, it might be actually actually something something interesting. Might actually also let's actually get back to the original one might be the case here and we might not scatter it in a relaxation I do not want to have that much relaxation this does not do too much neither does this max point limit 1000 okay global seed 
it's not doing that much since it's just you know so much uh, what we are seeing here is that uh, kind of of course uh, it is all in the same place so when i'm having a point all of these things are getting um copied to this one thing and there is no randomness to it there is no nothing to it um which for me makes really sense you know i haven't said that anything should happen regarding that um we might have 20 or something Oh no, I don't want to delete my scene. Thank you. Uh, we might also have like 50. That might be a, a good number. Um, I think that there is... That I can do it in the following. I think if I am having P scale there, it should... As far as I know. Uh, also, okay, the position apparently can be randomized there. For example, when I'm having two values, this should actually happen. Zero and one. Maybe I'm also having zero and ten or something. Does this change anything? No, this doesn't. Okay. Yes, it does. But I would also like to have a rotation. I would definitely also like to have a rotation and definitely also um, a P scale. Uh, so point scale or, um, I mean, in this case, as you or as I can't actually see as well, uh, this is all one. So what if I go to two values? Okay, this is just changing it to, to that then. I see, okay, so maybe, um, Maybe I have to do it there, and yes, this does indeed do. Do I have to capitalize it? I don't really know. I don't really know, but I think this has changed something, maybe. I mean, we're having different heights there. Let's copy that here and let's see if it does something no it doesn't <laughs> maybe i also need two values here and see if there is something happening um position also doesn't change that much um primitives detail was this an illusion just now that you know something changed there could be could definitely be I would like to have a random, a random rotation. Let's see. Let's see if there is some information. Apparently, yes, there is. I mean, when one is searching for something, there are just you know so many things that that um houdini is capable of you are probably gonna find something attribute name distribution i don't care global seed i would just <laughs> really like to know the uh, the shit that i could type into which would be the attribute name. Houdini attribute names. Let's see. Geometry attributes. There we fucking go. Um, vertical position. 
vertex point primitive detail. Um, to do, 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 do. I mean, this is. I don't know if this is the case. There we go. Uh, I don't know if this is the case for. Um, like I could maybe use n. Can I use n? Does this do anything? Maybe I should get rid of this once and see what it does then. And I'm actually also never quite sure whether um, whether it is like before or afterwards and then whatever. I mean, um, there's definitely some 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 learning curve to that that's definitely the case um, i'm also getting rid of this one and we're gonna try it again once more to see if um i mean that this should this should actually work since i'm seeing different colors here as well um i might actually also try it there and see if there is something yes there is and um, the question is apparently a capitalized n should have uh, a normal direction a random normal direction you can override this attribute to change the normal um yeah the idea as well as the name as well as piece p scale width or width actually um p scale should actually be uh, non-capitalized and is a float That's funny, you know, they say, could actually show you that. Ah, it's not that important. Um, they say sizes and rotations, and we're having P scale, scale width, lot, which is level of detail. This may be used in instancing sprite scale and sprite rot. When displaying particles using sprite images, viewport display attributions, which I didn't know even exist. Um, <clears throat> Um, I would like to try, there's even velocity, point position. Use it just to lay out the points of the model in 3D space. Um, I would actually like to have P scale once again. And it does nothing. Um, th there probably is like a really, the question is if, no, nope, if there is something happening. No, nothing as well. Um, if there is, is it because of the merge, actually? Does this change anything? No, it doesn't. Global scale also doesn't do anything. Detail, primitive, verticals, vertices, actually. Um, position does change something. Does this also change something in here? Yes, it does. Um, <laughs> It is something that I do not really want, though. Okay, that's that's weird. Um, yes, it is interesting. Maybe it's also because of the copy to points. Maybe this just you know does not 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 work then. Um, target points. Can I? Oh. I mean, I could theoretically say, let's choose them and them, and that is it, I guess. Let's maybe, let's, let's just do it like this. Just, you know, doing it by hand, things do not seem to, to work like I want it to. And let, what? I want the target points, please. And we're going to have this. Um, yeah, let's just <laughs> take it. Um, we are gonna probably VDB from Polygon, all of them. Gonna shove it in there. Nice, really nice. Having it a bit thinner. Maybe I am having a VDB now. Uh, we might create a volume out of them. 
Yes, we might. It's actually really interesting that there is just, you know, one triangle. So thanks. Thanks for that one triangle, I'd say. Um, we are gonna plug that in. I think this should work. Um, since there is, let's use a curl noise. There's just only a density. I don't know if this works, for example. Apparently it does not really. Um, is there a density thing? No. Uh, let's use a pyro noise. I mean, it is. There is noise. Noise to density could theoretically work. Maybe it doesn't. It's actually quite always the same thing. Me not knowing which, which one of those things I should be using. Maybe let's see if there is some shit that I do not know about. Nah, it should be fine. Um, might actually also be about me choosing the wrong thing. Um, let's use the anti or this thing here. Does this change anything? If I do this, yes, it does. So we are going back and we are con convert. No, VDB con no, go away. Convert. We are converting this VDB to polygons again because I want to see what is happening there. And what is happening there is not too interesting, but something is happening. So when I'm now changing something there, I should be able to see it live. Yes. The roughness, do I need a lot of roughness? Maybe I need a lot of roughness. I think I want to have a lot of roughness. I don't know what attenuation is, but I also want a lot of, I do not want a lot of turbulence. Maybe a tiny bit. Maybe a tiny little bit. Surface effect. What is that? I don't know. Maybe even another noise. Maybe the original Perlin. I think we're just going to stay with the Perlin noise and do it like, like that. Let's see if there's something else that we could be adding sometimes to do like patterns, like the Mandelbrot, for example. This can be a good one. Let's use it. Um, is there an amount? I'm just, you know, going to plug it somewhere. Or I'm actually not going to do so. What if I do that? Okay, nothing is happening. Um, let's just, unless I might be, uh, we might add it to the roughness though. This is actually quite interesting what is happening there. We might actually keep it like this and then add another, another one on top of that to, um, we might actually, can't I add? Yes, I can. So I'm going to, to use this one. No, that's the wrong one. We're going to use, can I do this? <laughs> <laughs> I want to have this one. Does this change anything? No, it doesn't. Okay. Does it change anything when I'm adding like the P to it or something else? You know what? We're going to keep it like this. For some reason, I kind of like that. It is, you know, basically nothing, but um, it has something. Um, what I want to have is some sort of a connection. Uh, I do not really want to use... Um, I do not really want to use particles on one hand, and I also do not really want to use um, polylines slash um, pipes, poly pipes or a wireframe or something, because it tends to, to really be slow then. 
um i'm just thinking uh, something something again noise like would be nice uh that is distorting everything a bit more in the in the the vertical direction though so we might actually um we might actually let's see if there i i do remember there being a noise as well uh a volume noise that could we could also use volume trails um let's see or ext what if we just you know extrude a volume what is happening there i would like to know Okay, apparently there is nothing happening. So we're gonna use this volume. Uh, there we go, volume noise. It should be a fork, I guess. Ah yeah, you know, there's, there's definitely something happening. Um, and it should be zero centered, I think. Or what is positive? Apparently not positive and negative. Also not that nice because it does. Ah, okay, I see zero centered. And add. Maybe we need a subtraction there. This is actually becoming more interesting though. What about set? Minimum. I think we're going to keep it at add. It does the most apparently. Um, let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Kind of is cool. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it does, but let's use it. Element size might be, might actually be really small for this one, or at least rather small. There we go. I might just in the end use uh, <laughs> I might just in the end use some pipes or some shit to to get everything together, but but we will see. This is not changing anything there. Good. Great. Um what I would like though. So this is a fog. Let's let's actually have a look at, at more volume shit. Um, volume surface, optical flow, patch, ramp, rasterize, rasterize curve. There was one that I, maybe we can blur it. Radius. No, we can't blur it. The more I know. That's good. Um, We could, I think, probably reduce it, but I do not necessarily want to do that. I wouldn't also say that this is of of this is smart, you know, that I'm getting anything out of it. I wouldn't say so. Um what is this? Ah uh, cool. I don't know. Volume compress. Maybe th maybe this is doing something. Recompress. No, it's not giving me any sliders. I do want to have some sliders that I can use to do some cool shit. Convolve, I don't know what this is. Um, deform feather. This is the other one that I was thinking about, but apparently this also does not do, does not really do that much. Um, is there something else? Sometimes I, t I I think that I'm forgetting about some things. I just fork. Can I do something with that? Constant value. Okay, I see. Sometimes I think I forget about some things that I've kind of always been using to create cool forms, but then I forget about them. Because I think there was something with... Uh, maybe it's also this shit. Can I actually use it? I don't know. Does this actually do something? Let's see. Apparently, no, it does not. 
Because the problem that I'm having is that I would like to to rotate it once. I would like to have, for example, this and rotate it 90 degrees so that I'm having a bit of uh, set axis offset or interesting shit going on in the set axis. Um, what we might just be doing is using a pop network. Um, I said just before that I do not want to do so, but let's do so. Um, we are maybe going to use um, a pop force. Something in the middle would actually be be good. Something in the middle would be good or flocking. Let's use flocking. And I do want to have three centers because it is a good number. And let's see what it does. Let's see where these three centers apparently are. I cannot really tell. Avoid force. Du, 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 du. Um, central attraction one. Can I just spike that? I can do so. Yes. So apparently, these are the three centers. Okay. Um, I do wanna. Oops not have so many points but maybe have like 500 or something you now some some amount okay um we're using a trail to connect all those points via polygons I'm gonna okay interesting we're probably gonna maybe uh, do that and then we're gonna vdp from polygon all of them probably set it to 0 0.05 which is often quite a good a good one and then we are converting them again to a polygon to see what is actually happening polygons and there we go, we're having two pieces of shit basically. Great. Let's see if there is more happening, if there is some connection happening at some point. Apparently we're having a bit of a split of all of them. Okay, um... This actually looks a bit more interesting, having it a tiny bit smaller might actually just increase the, the trail length to have this, this connection there, somewhat at least, somewhat of a connection. Here we go, I'll take it. It's nothing too beautiful, but we could actually also use the uh, VDB from particle fluid. We might actually use that. We might actually use that, yes. Um, separation, I do want to have very small separation please yes yeah, something like that voxel scale uh, rather small i would say unless everything dies then i don't want to have anything i really randomly found this this fluid density thing might actually have to escape that might have been a bit too uh to less and i really like it i really 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 like it um what i also want to do though is 
segments and then blast and then I do delete non-selected and I want to have this so that we're having one full geometry. Um, we might actually also smooth that one out. We might actually smooth that one out, which for some reason doesn't really work with the fluid, uh, the fluid thing. It really does not work for whatever reason. Um, so we're having that. Let's have a look at the uh, at this. The question is, when I'm reducing that, does it make it cooler or worse? It is somewhat the same. We might actually increase. Yeah. We might increase that and go even lower on here. Because that might be interesting. Trying to find the the sweet spot, I guess, where they do connect might be zero point zero six. Yes, there is a connection. There is a connection. Um, I don't know what the droplet scale is. Okay, I see. Does not actually have to be that big, to be honest. Because I'm getting thinner connections, which I do prefer over really big ones. Let's see what this looks like then. Uh, all of a sudden, no. Okay, this is happening to that. Maybe this makes it better. No, it doesn't. Um, let's go go back up, I think. Maybe, okay. No, this, <laughs> this is definitely not what I, what I want to have. I want to have something rather, rather thin. Yes, something like this. In the end, I think when you're exporting it to another render software, for example, uh, Blender, whatever you might be using, uh, also I think in Houdini, you should also have it in red there. Um, I guess that there is some, yes, some way to not have any color there. There we go. Um, what we might be doing now is merging all of that. And I think actually by merging them, you can still select. Is this what I want to have? Yes. Um, you can still select like the, uh, uh, you can still select different colors for each of them. And um, also, Probably also the the vertex groups maybe, which might be really cool or which which uh, which which is really cool, which would be really cool. Do I also want to have that? I might transform it though. So having this translated up a tiny bit, even though I do no, I actually. I actually don't want to have this at all. I think this this is but transforming that would be would be cool. Transforming that would be really cool. Um but then probably also once again deleting what is not connected yeah maybe something like this I I'm not not fully happy with it let's VDB it again because it is so much fun zero five 
probably needs to be be less Just converting it again here we go into polygons for the sake of letting everything be a bit like one because as you can see yes we're having some beautiful connections there and definitely going a bit lower with that amount or voxel size so to speak uh, what we might be doing here indeed as well is getting rid of those platforms that are not connected so once again doing this and once again blasting it uh delete non-selected there we go and i also do not want them to be colored um do i like this initial shape there not really i am not that fond of it what we might be doing though is having an attribute vop and displacing it again um, by displacing it along normals and then having some random noise i would actually for once use the fucking flow noise <laughs> that would be actually quite interesting to see what it does because i think that i do not know maybe it also does does nothing at, at least for me at least nothing good <laughs> at least nothing good maybe this is the, 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 the reason why i'm never using it because i can't or i apparently can't change that much which i do not like but maybe the curl noise is doing something good for me I doubt it. Well, I shouldn't doubt it. It's it's really interesting. It's really interesting. But I do not want the amplitude to be that high, I think. But the roughness to be really high? Maybe. Maybe also not. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I want to have that. I think maybe a bit less. I'm kind of trying to also get those very high uh, platforms to be connected because I would actually like to keep them. But if they're not connected, it is what it is. And, you know, it's, I don't care either. That is actually interesting. That is indeed interesting because I was also thinking about having less turbulence, which is also cool, really cool indeed. Hmm. Maybe something in between, like a two, might have been the initial value. I think that I'm going to keep. Ah. Uh, I think it is either just, you know, really not that much or just really a lot. And maybe even having the amplitude high. I don't know. Yes, I think having it high. I think indeed having it high. This, this creates something really, really satisfying for me. Really nice. You know, I thought just a moment before happens quite often i thought well this is not gonna turn out to be something good but then uh, something good happens then one has something good that is of course you know having like a railing up there and some other shit would be really cool i would like to have that but it is what it is so this is the final thing after even uh, uh, 
those two sets of, of blasting everything away slash deleting everything that is non needed or just just you know not, not good enough basically um yes I think maybe we are copy and transforming it once. We are maybe gonna copy and transform it once and rotate it like this. Uh, maybe actually it translated like that and like this. Do I want to have that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I want to have. I really don't. But actually not that. I think. And also not that. Maybe it's also a 70 or something. Or are we also not going to do that and, and leave it as it is? It's it's an L for some reason. I mean, there is a reason behind it. Um, yeah, I think that this is going to be it for today. Uh, I hope you've liked it. I hope you've been able to learn something and I've been able to share something of value to you. And I'm going to see you the next time. I at least think and or hope.